Hi guys and welcome to this day in the life video. Today I had a 9am lecture so I decided to set my alarm for 7. I looked at my phone for a bit before finally managing to turn the lights on and get out of bed. I then made my bed which I always try to do first thing on the morning before going in the shower and making breakfast. I pretty much always have the same thing for breakfast, a cup of coffee, a glass of orange juice and a bowl of cereal with either almond milk or oat milk. While I was eating my breakfast I watched some YouTube videos on my phone before doing my hair and makeup, changing my clothes and just generally getting ready to go out. Good morning and welcome to this day in the life vlog. I'm Chloe, a third year university student studying English literature and today I want to talk about the modules I'm studying this year. For now, I need to leave because I'm going to be late for my 9am lecture. <laughs> I'm going to go and do some seminar reading now. Now that I'm back in my room, I thought it might be helpful to go over the modules I'm studying this year. So in the third year of my degree, there are three compulsory modules and two optional modules. The three compulsory modules we have to study are the tragedy paper, practical criticism, and we also have to write a compulsory dissertation. So practical criticism at its core is about analysing texts. Um, it's the same as what we do in first and second year, but you're expected to bring that knowledge forward and analyse things in greater depth and use more literary theory. The tragedy paper has a focus on Greek tragedy and Shakespeare. Those make up two thirds of the paper. The last third of the paper is made up of really anything you want that is relevant to the idea of tragedy. So people have written on anything to um, modern plays, to people's lives, to the environmental crisis, to war. Anything that could be relevant to the idea of tragedy can be brought in in that part of the paper. The third compulsory module is the dissertation. So everyone has to write one dissertation in their third year. We had to write a dissertation in our second year, but that was only 5,000 words. This year it has to be 7,500. Okay, so on to the optional modules. There are lots of different optional modules to choose from and you have to choose two of them. You can choose to sit exams in both of those papers or you can choose to sit one exam and write an optional dissertation, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I will be doing the three compulsory modules, including the compulsory dissertation, an optional dissertation and then I'll be taking one paper to exam. I have chosen to sit an exam in the visual culture paper um, which I think is one of the most interesting papers on the course. Um, the focus isn't specifically on literature but analysing the visual. Um, so you can talk about art, film, architecture, uh, fashion, photography. It's such a broad paper um, the first half of the paper is really open and the second half of the paper specifically focuses on classical Hollywood between the period of 1930 and 1950. Um, so within that you get to cover a lot of different things. Practical criticism runs throughout the two teaching terms, so Michaelmas and Lent term. You study the tragedy paper in Michaelmas. The compulsory and optional dissertations are due after the Easter holidays at the beginning of Easter term, just before exam season starts. In Lent term, people have the teaching for the optional modules that they're going to take to exam and work on their dissertations. Because I'm only sitting one exam module, that means I don't have very many contact hours. I only have, I think, 20 lectures in total on the module and I have a few seminars, but in general, a lot of the work will be independent this term because I will be working on both of my dissertations. Despite that, I've ended up having quite a busy day today. 
Um, I had two lectures scheduled and I'm going to watch the recording of the second one after my supervision this afternoon. After my 9am lecture, I went to the library and did two hours of reading for my seminar, which was between 12 and 2. I've come back to my room now and I'm about to have a supervision from half three until half four before, as I say, I'm going to watch the other lecture recording and will hopefully be finished my teaching by half five today. I've just finished my supervision. It actually ran 15 minutes over, so it was an hour and 15 minutes instead of an hour. I was supposed to be watching a lecture now. There was a lecture on at 11am that I haven't watched yet, but the recording should now be up. However, I was then supposed to be going for food with Lydia at six o'clock and she just messaged saying her plans have changed and she wants to go for food now. So we're actually going to go out now and I'll probably watch the lecture afterwards before dancing. <laughs> Zoom! I'm running late to ballet. <laughs> The parcels that arrived earlier were actually things that I designed for the Kuta show, so posters and good luck cards, and it's so exciting to see them in real life. I designed a few different types of posters, but these were my favourites. Um, so this is one of our dancers, and because it's Rise, I've used the Sunrise in the background, but I think this one has the nicest colour scheme, which is why I got them printed. And these are the good luck cards, um, so they need to be folded, they're blank on the inside and have the show logo on the front and the Kutai's logo on the back. I designed these as well and this is one of three Rise logos that we used for the t-shirts and other publicity. Um, I turned different dances into silhouettes and added the words. Um, this is actually me. Uh, this is me doing a stag jump from a photo we took a while ago that I turned into a silhouette. I've put a lot of time and energy into my position as publicity officer on the Kutas committee. Um, it's strange that I'm only in the position for about a month now because the new committee will take over at the end of this term. Um, it doesn't feel like it's been a year already, but it has been really fun. And I've especially loved doing things like this, where I get to see printed versions of my designs. Um, I made leaflets and flyers for the Freshers' Fair, and now I've got the show posters and the cards, and I'll be ordering the show programmes at the weekend as well. Um, so all of that is really exciting. Ballet was also really fun tonight. Um, it was 8 until 10, and after I stayed back, to talk about the show with some of the other committee members. Um, I didn't get back until about 11. I didn't end up watching that other lecture that I wanted to watch. Um, after I went for food, I was quite tired, so I just had a rest. Um, so I'll probably have to watch that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to get a snack and go to bed. So I do hope you've enjoyed this day in the life video. If you did, please leave a like and remember to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.